All right, now I'm going to show you how to make a little bit more of a complicated model because the basic model doesn't look very good. So I'm going to show you a couple techniques to make a lot cooler models. So what we're going to do is kind of the same basic thing, the move, the rotate, and the scale, but we're also going to do a couple of new things also. So let's just start with our basic model and then we'll get to make it a little more cool. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a quick one. You can make a lot cooler ones. I just don't want to waste your time watching me make this crazy model, right? So I'm going to make an elephant. So I'm going to get the head nice and in place. And then I'll make a body. Oops. And then I'm going to scale that, so I'm going to press the scale key, scale it to make it look more like an elephant. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm going to make sure that's nice and in the middle. I think we're going to change the head. Let's scale that also, make it more elephant-like. That's a little better. Now let's make some legs. And let's see, we need them a little longer. And let's move them into place. All right, and since we don't want to make four legs because they're probably not going to be all the same, that wouldn't look very good, we're going to go to Edit, Duplicate, and then just move that into place. And the same thing over here, Edit, Duplicate, Move it this way. One more, edit, duplicate. And then move it this way. So now we have four legs. All right, let's also make a tail. Awesome. Let's move that. And we're going to rotate this once it's in place. There we go. So that's, oh, we also need our trunk. I almost forgot. It's the most important part. So let's get our trunk. All right, and move it into place. It's a little crooked, but we can always fix that later. All right, and that kind of vaguely resembles an elephant, but it's not very good looking, as you can tell. So we're gonna do a couple things to make it look better. So what we're gonna do first, let's start with the trunk. We're gonna go to, okay, so if these aren't what you think they are or what I'm explaining, that's because you're in the wrong menu here. I'm in the animation one right now, and for this, I don't need to be in that. I need to be in the polygons menu. So if the little things up here don't look right, you're probably in the wrong menu. And so we need to go to Edit Mesh and Insert Edge Loop. So we're going to add a couple of edge loops. Just a warning, it's always better to start with less and add more because if you start with too many, oftentimes it gets really hard to control and it just looks horrible and it's all a mess. So it's a lot better just to start with a couple and then you can always add more later. Not a big deal. So just a word of warning. And so now I'm going to select, well, how do you get to this? This is automatically happens when you do an edge loop, but just in case you click out of it and need to go back, you're going to do a right click, go to edge mode. There's also vertex mode which you can select individual vertexes which is really useful and face mode where you can select the faces but for this particular thing we want edge mode so we're going to use the edges select the edges you want to move around and then we're going to start moving them so I'll move that down a little 
And also, just a word of warning, it may look like this is all selected, but I did a crappy selection, so when I turn, uh oh, that's not selected. That may not look like a big deal, but say, for example, I forgot to select a whole side like this, and I start to move it. Oh, well, this it doesn't matter, but let's see up here, probably. See what happens? It stretches, and everything gets messed up. So make sure you're really paying close attention to that you select everything, because that's important. So let's... Oh, I think I forgot to select a bottom thing. There you go. And now let's move it down this way. Then we'll move this up a little bit. And this up. Kind of looks like a trunk. Uh-oh, see, I didn't select that well enough. So I'm going to have to go back and do it again. But for the sake of time, we're going to do something different. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of rotates in here. So we can also rotate. It doesn't necessarily have to be a move. It could be rotate instead, which sometimes looks better. And so yours is going to look a lot better than this. I'm just doing it really fast and making a lot of mistakes. Also, see, as it's hard to get to the front angle from this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the F key, and it will frame the trunk so I can work a little closer. All right, so see, it's kind of hard to get everything sometimes, but we're, we're doing our best. All right, and there's going to be my elephant trunk. Looks kind of messy, but you're going to make it look a lot better, I'm sure.